Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Unfazed. My name is Phazon and in this video, I'm going to be going over the new Science Olympiad rules for gravity vehicles. So make sure you stay tuned until the end. If you're new to the channel, I post videos on Science Olympiad every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you're interested, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be updated every single time I post a new video. But with that said, let's get right into it. Before we talk about what has changed in Science Olympiad Gravity Vehicle, let's talk about what stayed the same. So in essence, the main construction of your Science Olympiad Gravity Vehicle is still the same. You still need to build a or you can still build a maximum of a two kilogram car. You still have to make your car travel between nine and 12 meters, depending on your competition. There, you still have the same ramp dimensions and basically the, you're still going straight. You don't have to turn, none of that. You're still having roughly the, or you, you still have, you actually have a little bit more time than usual and past competitions to set up your car and run it, but that's basically what stayed the same. The same general outline of your car and its build plans is still the same. So if you were able to build a really great gravity vehicle last year, then it's still going to be viable, most likely. Now let's talk about what did change. So first and foremost, what did change is that your car must move once you launch it. So let's say your car is held by, or your car is being launched by a pencil, and you push some lever, push, you push some lever with that pencil, and your car is not, has not dropped at that point. Instead, something else is happening, and then your car eventually drops. If that is what happens, your car or your ramp is a construction violation. Your car must move right after, oops, right after you hit the releasing mechanism with your pencil. Otherwise, it will be a construction violation. In other things or other changes, you now have three runs instead of two. You have three runs and two of those runs count towards your score. So basically, and, in, and even more important, they got rid of time. So now it's actually a viable option to make your car weigh literally nothing so that you can easily go down your ramp and have zero skid by the, by the time you reach the 12 meter mark. It's actually a viable option because if you, have, if you ever tried to use a lot of weight on your gravity car, you most certainly notice a ton of skidding depending on where that weight is placed. But now you are actually rewarded for not having as much weight as long as you're able to get to the distance, of course. But now when you have less weight, it's a lot easier to stop your car. So you're not really losing anything by making your car 500 grams or even 200 grams, as long as your car reaches the target point and is able to stop accurate, accurately, it's all good. But in terms of scoring, scoring, now, like I said, no longer accounts for time. So how are they going to score it now? They, like I said, they use both runs and they add up the distance of your car from the target point from both from your two best distances. So let's say in three runs, your for your first run the car was 50 centimeters off of the target point. Second run the car was 60 centimeters off the target point, and third run the car was 70 centimeters off the target point. So in those circumstances, your score would be the first run plus the second run because those were your two best runs. So it would be 50 centimeters plus 60 centimeters, which will be 110. So your score would be 110. So basically those are the main rule changes to gravity vehicle. If I miss anything, make sure you let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to pin it so everyone else can see. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel for new Science Olympiad videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time.
stand faced.